hello guys welcome back to my channel Asha Sharma sorry I have not made videos for so long I was busy on all this stuff yeah guys welcome to my video again and in this video I'll be teaching you how to create a fuel system like this so that's dropping whenever I am driving that's dropping so when I'm stopped it's not using anything only when I'm driving so what happens when that goes to zero? Let's see. That goes down, down, down. Goes down. Let's see from there. So nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. The vehicle stops when that gets to zero. It cannot move only move this steering wheel so when you refuel it just like that it moves okay let's get it started first thing first I'll delete the gradient system gradient GUI bar so we can redo this when I play to make sure that nothing works nothing there's nothing I have the unlimited fuel so go to the SS store get the gradient GUI bars I'll put the link for you guys to download it import it after you import it um, should be the one sec. It should be there. Gradient. Go to prefabs. Drag the drive bar. Where is it? That one there. Play it. So nothing happens. So what I'll do is see the value there when I drag it down. It increases it hits zero vehicle is still driving so we need to do some scripting GUI bar scripts I'll put the link in the description for you guys so you don't have to type all this in first thing is start off by creating a public variable so let's say public public rigid body and name it RB. Go down. Let's go down. This button. And let's create a new class. So that's public. Let's say void and update. Give it a bracket. Curly bracks. Close it. And let's start off with um, creating a stuff right so public public void update let's say if input dot get key and say key code dot w close this bracket so what that is saying is what that is saying is when you um, so, so public void update so what that is doing is when you click W we're gonna write some code that's gonna execute so you can change any key there you can put it put the up arrow and thing but I'll go with W and then what we'll do is we'll say R no let's say value so value is gonna change minus equal to 0 0.0 0 0.09 F if you want to go for realistic go for 0 0.01 but in this case I'm gonna go for 0 0.01 because we want this 
going fast so we can do the tutorial and then say times time dot delta time and say close the bracket not like that but semicolon go down curly bracks close the bracket there say if value is low then zero so what that is saying is I'll, I'll explain to you to you when I'm done so RB dot is kinematic equal to true So what is happening on this script is that if the, so there if you press W value is going to minus by 0.09F and when you um, if value gets to 0 or lower than 0 lower than the value the value is up there I'm using let's go a bit up that value which comes to that value there so when that decreases to minus zero we want the something happen so what's that what's that something so um So when it gets to zero or lower than zero, we want uh, this script to run. So RB, which is rigid body dot is kinematic, is true. So let's go to bus. Click on bus. So if you enable the kinematic. See how the drive var the fuel is going down, but the bus is not moving. So, if you enable that one, the bus won't move. That's what we want our script to be when it hits zero. So, that's true. Let's make it refueling system. Let's go there copy the same script control C go down control V so in this case we want to make this one F or anything you want to use it for you again so if you hit F we want this to add so not minus change the sign to plus to make it 0.01 so we refuel faster and when we refuel and if the value gets more than 0 more than the value 0 the rigid body is false so it's not taking the um, rigid body go back to our game we have some error which is bracket is not closing Rising error. okay so when that happens play feel Fuel gets to zero, but nothing happens. It's because we have not set the rigid body. Set the rigid body. Click there, and then select your vehicle. It's gonna be pass, or else drag the object to the thing. It's gonna be copy your rigid body there. So after this, it should work. So let's hit on play. Drag it to make it quicker, zero, nothing works. When you 
press F, it's going to refuel it, so you can drive it when it's zero, it's going to stop. F, hold F to refuel it, and you can drive it when it's to zero. So we want full to refuel it. So there. Yeah, you can. Okay, so um, you can. So in my next video, what I'll show you is you cannot refuel on the way as I did. You can only refuel when you get here. So I have a trigger there. When you enter that trigger, you can refuel it. It's gonna be on the next video. Stay tuned. If you have any questions, comment down below. Everything will be found in the description, even the script everything you need and also this assets important one it will be on the um, the description yeah guys thank you for watching and I'll see you in next video